right, so I'm feeling good recently, so I decided to dig into my back catalog of movies I knew I definitely would not like whatsoever, and I ended up watching Spring Breakers, Fantastic, and Money Plane, and did I succeed at torturing my soul for three days? You'll just have to watch the rest of this video to find out. The answer is yes, I did find one. One was truly awful. I can't, ugh, 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 gross. Our first movie is Spring Breakers. This is a 2013 movie starring Vanessa Hudgens, Selena Gomez, and James Franco. Uh, the basic premise is that a group of four college-age girls decide to go down to Florida for a spring break, woohoo! And then James Franco shows up as this really sketchy guy, and he does some stuff. Um, but if you think that's all the movie's about, you really did not pay attention to this movie at all. <laughs> also how it's so slow. It's very clearly full of metaphors and symbolism that to just think that it's actually just about four girls going down for spring break in Florida, it's, it's so clearly not that. I don't know how anyone could actually get the impression that that's what it's really about. I was, I was kind of expecting to not like this movie just because of how mixed everything was. I, you know, kind of thought it was just more about like dumb spring break stuff, but no, it's more, you're definitely making fun of the dumb spring break stuff. Uh, but there's also so many other layers to it. There's definitely like a religious metaphor layer where like maybe James Franco is kind of a representation of Lucifer and the other gangster, I forget his name, is, could be a representation of God. And like it's, it could also be like a, a retelling of the book of Job, um, but kind of where God loses in that ver in this version. There's definitely a deeper layer about race because like, I mean, <laughs> There's the lecture at the beginning of the movie, they're talking about Jim Crow, and it's like, that's obviously important, that's very intentional. And what I found really, really interesting is after the fact, I did find some discussion threads about this. One person in the discussion threads talking about how in that first scene with the, the, when the girls meet a bunch of black people, uh, they're all just like scared and stuff. But really, all of those people are doing the same thing they were doing before with all the white people, except maybe even a little bit more tame. Um, so it, it just goes to show their innate racism. But then someone responded to that being like, no, 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 those are a bunch of gangsters. They had every right to be scared. But it's, no, there is zero indication any of those people besides James Franco was a gangster. It's just a bunch of black people hanging out and drinking. That doesn't innately make them gangsters. There are definitely black gangsters in this movie. This isn't a scene with them, though. So this movie very clearly brings out people's innate racism, or underlying racism, and it's, it's really interesting. Uh, I definitely think it's a movie that I'm gonna like more the more I think about it and the more I talk about it. So if, I definitely recommend this if you're in for like a weird, slow, metaphorical kind of music video-esque movie. It, it's, it's really, it's really solid. Yeah. Our next movie is fan fantastic This is a 2015 superhero movie loosely based on the Ultimates version of Fantastic Four. Uh, and I had no plans of ever watching this movie. It got awful reviews. I've watched so many videos talking about how awful this movie is uh, and just really breaking down its, all of its flaws. Um, but I, like I said, I wanted to torture myself with some bad movies, so I was like, this will be great. And it was fine. It was actually fine. I, I do think some of the complaints are a bit blown out of proportion. It's still entertaining. There's a, there are definitely, don't get me wrong, there's definitely a lot of problems with this movie. The character designs are atrocious, like what is Doctor Doom? What is Doctor Doom? And even Johnny Storm, when he's flamed up, he just... The way they did Chris Evans looked way, way better. Here's a comparison. And then like Kate Mara's wig that she wears for like random parts of the movie is very annoying and obnoxious. But like, I liked the beginning of the movie, really up and through when they get transformed into the Fantastic Four. I was enjoying it. I was like, oh, this is actually like really solid. Wow. Um, there were definitely problems in there too, but like they weren't like, they were kind of ignorable problems, really. Once the time jump happened, things got weird and it was, I don't know. And then like, I was still, I was still kind of okay with it. 
And then I was like, okay, Dr. Doom showed up. Cool, we got, we're like entering into the third act. And I was like, okay, maybe I should pause it real quick to make some food. And I paused the movie and I saw that there's 20 minutes left. And that includes the end credits. And I'm like, oh, this movie's really short. Apparently the movie was originally two hours and 20 minutes. And then they did a bunch of reshoots and, you know, a bunch of cutting. And there's a lot of, you can, you can clearly see all the reshoot stuff because that's when Kate Mara has the awful wig. I do believe there originally was a much better movie here. I also do think this movie is not. It's definitely not the worst Marvel movie. I haven't seen all of the bad Marvel movies, uh, but the ones I've seen, I think uh, the worst of the worst is definitely Dark Phoenix. That one's... <sighs> so yeah, this movie's fine. It's definitely dumb. I put it in the meh category, but like, it's not, it's definitely not the worst. It's not the worst. And to give its credit too, it kept my attention the whole way through. And lastly is Money Plane. And this is a 2020 movie starring some WWE star. It's weird. And also Kelsey Grammer and Thomas Jane. Like, what are those two doing? Those guys need better agents. This movie is so bad. This movie definitely hurt my soul. It was like, so like I know I intentionally went out to like find a movie that would hurt me. And it's kind of like I saw, you know, like those those bars in a, in a railing and I was like, ha, wouldn't it be funny if like I got my head stuck in there? It'd be like so painful and stuff. Like I wouldn't be able to get out and you have to call like 911 and then cut me out or something. It'd be, it'd be so silly. And then I did it. I stuck my head in there and I'm like, oh, this really hurts. Why did I do this to myself? You are dumb, Charlie. Stop it. That's what the experience of watching this movie is like. What's the premise? Who cares? This movie is dumb. I feel like the inspiration for Money Plane came from the director finding like the fuselage of a plane in a dumpster when he was dumpster diving one day. And he's like, hey guys, hey guys, I found this plane. Let's make a movie about this plane. And then everyone just threw ideas at him and was like, great, perfect. Let's do all of that. That's awesome. Uh, make it funny? No, we're gonna try to make it funny, but all the jokes are gonna be utterly atrocious. That's that's how we get them. That's how we get them. It's like double layers. It's like, it's supposed to be a joke, but it's not funny. And because it's not funny, that'll make it funny. I hate this movie. The reason why I decided this particular movie, Money Plane, I would watch is because my friends over at Trailer Hitch Podcast they watched it last year. They actually got a screener for it, which is amazing. Uh, and I listened to their podcast on it, and I was like, this sounds perfect. I'm totally going to love this awful trash. And then I, I, I watched it, and I was like, no, you're dumb, Charlie. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Oh, my God. I actually am tearing up. I really hate this. I'm done though. This movie is dumb. It's so dumb. I hate money playing so much. I hate this movie so much. This movie is so dumb. I now personally hate both Kevin Heyer and James Leeski for introducing this movie to me. You guys are bad people and you should feel bad for um, talking about this movie and informing the world of this movie. This is your fault. You suck. Don't watch this movie. Alrighty! So for today's final rankings, we got Spring Breakers sitting at number 17 in the liked category. And then we have Fan Fantastic uh, sitting at number 21 in the meh category. And then bringing up the rear is Money Plane sitting at number 26 out of a total of 27 movies. There is in fact one movie worse than it that I've seen so far this year. It's Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost is so bad. It's so sexist and just, it's... Ugh. Okay, yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna go back to watching good movies now. I, I, I have hurt my soul enough. Money Plane. Money Plane. Money Plane. Money Plane. Money Plane.